Hey yo, how's it going boys? What is up? Sorry, back once again for yeah, another character impression. This time we have came Follow me break. The first one of the series that yeah, we are gonna look at. Yay! I have him. Obviously I haven't completed his level 100 shit yet, but uh He's gonna get there eventually. So uh I'm not sure if the numbers are out yet, but uh, we're gonna try our best. Alright, let's see which one changed first. Isn't that the same or is that diff is that a new one? Wait, I think this is a new one, right? <laughs> Race random suit on ran or that that that? Yeah, this one's new, right? Because I don't see that on the OG one. This looks new. And then uh what's what else has changed? Um I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, this is the level 100 one, which I do not have yet. What's this? Level 100 is what? Skill effect changes based on the card selected. Can only be used after the full upright activates. Huh. Interesting. So that means I need to cast the summon? Alright, so let's see. Charity is new. Oh, is it? Oh, so actually Wiki is fucking outdated. Alright, cool. It's not updated yet. Remove one debuff from Earth allies with 12 or more buffs at the end of turn. Alright, that looks kinda cringe. Oh, we get supplemental as well. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't there before, is it? <laughs> yeah, that's not there before. So supplemental is new. Alright, so we get extra 20,000 supplemental. That's pretty neat though, shit. Wait, so it's an add-on, right? So you get extra, like, supplemental along with, like, damage cap and shit? That's pretty sick. So technically, you won't have this if you're using Galleon Grid, right? <laughs> so is this better than Galleon Grid? Pro mm, I don't know, probably not, though. <laughs> I think Galleon Grid is still better. <laughs> but you, you have to use tree, though. Yeah, but the front line looks ass! <laughs> Yeah, the front line looks ass! What do you mean? Earth ally spade, uh, spade, hard, diamond, and club all raised by a random number. Yeah, but it looks... I don't know, man. It looks... It never looked like he, they actually made him, like, even crazy as a frontliner. But I need to see what the fuck this does, though, because I can't use this yet. So, one, rec one allows him to get... Uh, what's that? Nuke? Uh, full turn assassin and guaranteed triple attack. How long does that last? Is it just one turn? I think it's just the entire turn. This 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 assassin shit is for raid border skills. You get a nuke, assassin. I'm not sure how much that is, and then you get guaranteed triple. But I think the assassin is the entire turn as well. But that is to to himself or what? And then green border skills he gets. He gives you a potion. <laughs> he gives you a blue pot. Is it a blue pot or green pot? And recovers one deb uh, was it one clear to all allies. And then yellow is Oh, yellow border is full refresh on his other uh, other skills. And then blue is plus 2 is like the Akasha effect or something for blue. Plus two turns at the end or turn or something. Cool down eight turns. I mean, it sounds okay. Yeah, it's okay. I guess there's some shenanigans you can actually do with that, I suppose. Yeah, I think you can. Like, yeah, use this and then you can copy shit, blah, blah, blah. Then you can, I don't know, get some shit out of this too, I suppose. Oops. Oh, the raid is to self? Oh, no. oh well. Yeah, that's the thing. Because it you are, is gonna, you are gonna take a long fucking time to do it. <laughs> Yeah, in order for you to actually get this, it does take a while and you have to like kill like you have to kill off Zawardo for like a lot of times because you need like a uh, hundred freaking idiots from Zawardo. Yeah. This two idiots was from one my first kill. But yeah, getting to 100 is probably going to take a while and then it uses sunlight stone as well. So that's fun, but I don't know, man. <laughs> For for the stuff that Earth has, it doesn't even require him to go into the front line. Backline is still pretty damn good though, I guess, because of this thing. <laughs> yeah, extra 20k supplemental can say no to that. <laughs> yeah, I mean you can yeah, if you have the because of the domain you get to increase it even more as well. It's like yeah, you can increase the rank of those shit super fucking fast. Sure, if he's in the front line, but I don't know man. Seems kind of like whatever though. <laughs> Seems kind of whatever to me. It's like, yeah, he gets extra attack up. Sure, if he has Jack of False, what Jack of what? 
He has the spades, spades is attack up. And then uh, hearts, you can heal specs and heal and regen whatever shit. Diamonds, he gets extra defense and water switch, sure. And then you have clubs, is bonus, er uh, what, echo? And uh, debuff success rate, sure. He's like a support guy, but like, you still need to bring his ass out. And we all know that bringing his ass out is a little bit annoying. Because it's not like you can really press, like, without any buttons, right? <laughs> like, literally, the, you, it's not like dark where you can just press death, right? Earth doesn't have that, <laughs> do they? No, I don't think so. You have fucking Rakam of all things and his RNG to get his ass killed. The card levels also provide shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I already said that earlier. He gets attack, he gets healing specs, he gets drain, he gets defense, he gets debuff success rate, he gets echo, he gets water switch. That is his card stuff. Yes. But to me, that doesn't really matter a lot. <laughs> Based on how annoying is it for him to even get in front sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I I still find him very gimmicky. Like, if you really want all that stuff that I said earlier, you're better off using other characters, I feel like. <laughs> you're, you're better off just using him in the backline because this is upgraded anyway. Right? And then... <laughs> just go on your merry way and use other characters and still be fine. So it's like, at least you do not have to... Uh, fucking whale or get lucky in like three galleon uh, sticks or whatever to fill in your primal shit, right? Because that's quite a pain in the ass to do. <laughs> Which I still think is probably still better. You know? Like galleon grid is still probably better even with supplemental and shit here. I still think it's better because I think you just get way more out of it from a galleon grid. But yeah, it's just... The, I feel like the amount of effort you go for this, it doesn't look like he's really like a super wordy character to slot in in front as well. You know? So yeah. Pretty unfortunate. <laughs> it took me uh, quite a bit of uh, effort to get to get him uh, full of me break too. <laughs> Pretty unfortunate. Lamau. Do I need to test him? Probably not, right? Nah, I don't think I need to test his ass. <laughs> He's just a backline Andy. Backline Andy to me. Because I am not using Galen Grid yet, even though I have three of them right now. This one is so shit though, seriously. <laughs> I, I, I don't get... I don't get this. Why? <laughs> this looks so shit to me, I don't know why. Perma Water Switch? Yeah, he gets Perma Water Switch, yes. He's the Diamonds thing, yes. But yeah, again, <laughs> to me, that's not really like a, a, a very special thing anymore. It, to me, it's nothing special. That's the problem. Yeah, that's why I find it like, uh, yeah, he, he looks okay, but I still think end of the day, he's just a backline Andy. It's not, not, uh, not worth to really go out of your way and get him maxed out, I suppose. But I mean, you still probably want to max him out regardless end of the day because you know supplemental is always good <laughs> but yeah it, i feel like this is only if you don't really want to bother getting like three gallon sticks or whatever for your primal shit or even magna to be fair you know because magna these days are also using came anyway so yes so uh, yeah his uh kind of whatever the good thing, the good thing I see out of like uh, evokers these days, right? Especially with the new zone, right? We just need to sandbox a lot. <laughs> just, just, just to get the evokers. Compared to before, right? Compared to before is like a little bit, you know, annoying to get. I think the only gate part is the whole evil light shit and sunstone obviously but outside of that you are yeah you just need to mash sandbox non-stop day after day after day after day <laughs> yeah you just need to mash it like crazy that's it <laughs> and then you just maybe save your evil lights for your sunstones whatever for any of this stuff and 
you're good to go, right? Other than that, it's just sandbox, 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 sandbox. All day sandbox. <laughs> when you have nothing else better to do, sandbox. <laughs> yeah, alright. So once again, I don't think I'm gonna test him. There's no reason for me to test him, even though I have him. Fuck it. <laughs> Do I really have to test him? No, I don't think so. Because if I bring him forward, my grid is ass. <laughs> I do not have a non-king grid yet, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not gonna... I'm not spending... 9 bars just for a video. No, fuck that. <laughs> it's not worth it for me, so I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are like all the other people who try to flex or their 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 came full limit break already by now. You can just watch that on YouTube. You don't have to rely on me. This is just my first impressions anyway, so yeah. Alright. That's my first impressions of came. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys whenever. <laughs>